morning, everyone. Good, good morning, everyone who has come from outside, the delegates, uh, the participants, the Bruzen uh, uh, Expos team, uh, members of the panel here. Uh, I'm Mayu Kazarika, the CEO and founder of Chera Punji Jin. Uh, we are India's youngest and most awarded gin. We've only been around for nine months. And we come from a very different part of the country. Uh, we come from the northeast of India, uh, where it's all green and it rains a lot. In fact, my, uh, the name of my brand is called Cherapunji. Cherapunji, as some of you may know, is, one, is the rainiest place on earth. And uh, it's obvious that we make our gin with uh, rainwater. As uh, Mr. Narayan was saying that, you know, there are, uh, there's a lot of, uh, there's a spirit of entrepreneurship in the country and, and entrepreneurs are doing crazy things and also winning global accolades in that. For example, one of the things that we do is also package our uh, gin in a stainless steel bottle. Now that was never heard of uh, until we did it. We started using rainwater until nobody thought about that. We started putting tea in our gin because, you know, uh, one of the things that our region is famous for is Assam tea. So, uh, and, and, and it was all very, very difficult. Trust me, I mean, like as an entrepreneur, the biggest hardship and also uh, being in a part of a country which is very remote, it's not that easy. Like entrepreneurship, that too in the alcohol sector is one of the most difficult things. And that is when, you know, uh, one, of the, one of the things that I encountered while building my company was a lack of general knowledge and ecosystem of, let's say, suppliers or or people who would help me do that. So I had to, you know, shift base to Europe for some time to understand how Alcobev production is done globally, what is the best practices, how can I get the best equipment to my part of the country, and I got it done. But, uh, you know, later I, I, I think, you know, I discovered that, you know, there's something like Bruce and Spirits Expo, which is already there, which is connecting people. And it's very, very important as we grow as an economy, as we grow, in numbers uh, as we grow in, in terms of the startups in the alcohol space, especially in craft distilling, that this knowledge is easily available to us. For example, there are three or four startups in the Northeast which come to me and ask for advice. How can we buy this machine? How can we distill a heritage liquor? So many questions. Where do people learn it from? I mean, there is no dearth of, of knowledge. Uh, I think it's, it's just a platform that is needed. And I think a platform like this in India is, it was, is very much needed. And, I think uh, what we can do together is take India to become a powerhouse of Alcobev production. So thank you very much. Welcome, everybody.